Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Yan. I hope you're all doing well today, man. I really do hope that, look, stuff happening always and forever in the world of football and indeed Chelsea Football Club. Jorginho's agent speaks out yet again. I know this is what agents do, but I've really starting to have enough. Is Jorginho set to leave Chelsea at some point? Is this a ploy for a contract extension? I mean, yes, I can see him going back to Italy. Would Chelsea be alright without them? We've got Billy Gilmore, Sal's probably going to be signed in a permanent. We'll talk about all of this in a moment. Thanks for joining me today. We're going to get into lots. Drop a like if you want to show some sweet love to me for making this content. Hey, you don't have to. Maybe you'll dislike, but hopefully you'll like. Uh, and consider subscribing if you're new. And yeah, but you can follow me on Instagram if you want to. Rabba, 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 at football, Yannick. Alright, so we are talking about Jorginho today. Or at least in this video, because I'm pumping out lots of content at the moment. Loads of videos for you, mate, sitting right there. Yes, I'm talking to you. Um, we're going to read through this article from Goal.com, uh, talking about what Santos, Jorginho's agent, has said yet again. But let's let's just quickly give you some backstory, some context to this, guys. Because this isn't the first time we've had this from a... Uh, oh, look, I'm facing you. This is strange. <laughs> I feel like I'm at an angle. I'm hitting all kinds of crap. But, hi. My name's Yan, and this is my YouTube channel, Football Therapy. Uh, what am I saying? This is, we've, this is not the first time we had this from Santos, um, Jorginho's agent. He forever, ever since Jorginho touched down at Chelsea under Sarri, he keeps talking about, yeah, he'd love to go to Juventus to play under Maurizio Sarri, when Sarri went over there. Yeah, he'd love to do this, he'd love that. Yeah, you know, he's got, you know, he's got a contract, but he wants to go to Italy. Look, man, Jorginho's at the top of his game. Europa League, Champions League, Euros 2020, which, by the way, are all very applicable points, but it doesn't mean he should be flaunting him, saying, move him here, move him here. Do you know what I mean? Let's just look at this article. And we can talk for it. Um, quote, it would be a dream for him to return to Italy. He knows what he's doing, and he? he knows what he's doing. Jorginho agent opens door to transfer away from Chelsea. Um, when it comes to Jorginho, um, his, I, I was going to say ego, but that's unfair. His self-belief uh, confidence is bigger than ever. And that's what you want, especially from a Chelsea player. Don't get it twisted for a second how... I'm saying this is a bad thing, you know, the way he talks about, you know, I'm at the top of my game, thank you for the people who believed in me, and thank you, he's thanking the haters, you know, in his UEFA Men's Player of the Year speech, which is fine, you know, it's great, um, he, he's the opposite, seemingly the opposite kind of personality to his midfield counterpart in N'Golo Kante, who just does his talking on the pitch, he's very passive, and, you know, they, there's a place for both of them, and there's benefits to both of them, but... I'm saying this because I think Jorginho recognises his value. Uh, he obviously loves Italy. Uh, he loves playing in Italy. He loves the country. Uh, I don't, don't know how much he loves England, to be honest. Like Certain characters that come to Chelsea really like England. Uh, certain managers, Conte, apparently really liked England. But um, I don't know how much he likes it here particularly, so I don't know that. That could be for any you know a factor for all sorts of stuff. The midfielders representative has suggested he could seek to leave Stamford Bridge before his contract expires in uh, in 2023 um, which obviously is a sensational statement for a multitude of reasons. Jorginho's agent Jao Santos has opened up the door for a transfer away from Chelsea claiming it would be a dream for him to return to Italy. Chelsea, of course, paid an initial fee of £50 million to sign Jorginho for Napoli in the summer of 2018, tying him down to a five-year contract. The agreement is due to expire in less than two years, and Santos has now suggested he could walk away from Stamford Bridge before then. Now, this is really interesting. Firstly, backstory. Yes, he cost um, Chelsea £50 million, which is an absolutely fine fee in, in retrospect, in hindsight, because you know, he's been a great player for Chelsea. And, you know, Lam uh, Sari played him, Lampard played him, Tuchel played him. They're, you know, so it's not like he was just Sari's son, even though that was the uh, early narrative. Until, of course, the fans under Maurizio Sari as well. Remember, the fans at Stamford Bridge sung Jorginho's name. You know, the match goers in under Sari when they weren't necessarily overly happy with Sari's football. But they loved Jorginho. So there's, there's this perhaps misled narrative that match goers don't like Jorginho. No, they, as soon as like there was that initial negativeness where they you know they booed him and they sort of 
saw him as a connection to Saru, which I absolutely don't condone or agree with. But what was nice to see and what was triumphant in Jorginho's story is this, those same fans sung his name. So, you know, they, they there was no stubbornness there. And then, you know, the arms were opened to, to love and appreciate the player eventually. But anyway, the 50 million was actually an, inflate, an inflated price because um, Maurizio Sarri, he was still, <clears throat> excuse me, he was still on the books at Napoli. He wanted the move to Chelsea. Uh, they got a new coach. I forget who it was. It wasn't, An- was it Ancelotti? I can't remember at the time. Uh, they got a new coach, it, it, it evades me, uh, but they still had him on the books, and Chelsea were like, we'll take him off you, you know, you don't have to pay two coaches, but there was like a bit of, um, uh, De Laurentiis, that's right, the, the big guy, the head honcho at uh, Napoli, he wasn't happy with that, so although, and he wanted a fee from Chelsea, uh, for them to release Sarri, to come and manage Chelsea, uh, and they were looking to sell Jorginho to City, and I said, right, how about this, we'll buy Jorginho, which we were sort of negotiating, but instead of giving you this 40 million like we wanted to, we'll just pay 50 million euro, an inflated price for the player. Now, I don't know why they needed to do it this way. Maybe it's to save face for Chelsea, so it looks like they're not paying to release the manager or something. I don't know. But that was a reported story. Um, I'm not sure... I can't say for definite, but that was pretty much the understanding at the time for other media. Um... Yes, and also when it comes to uh, his contract, so he'll be over 30 when um, when his contract expires, right? And Chelsea generally, generally, maybe maybe not with N'Golo Kante because he's a special, special, well, he's the best player at Chelsea, like the world-class player at Chelsea, and I think probably most people who watch football would agree with that. He's a special case, um, especially with his character as well and just his engine on him. But Jorginho, he might be one of these situations where Chelsea offer 18-month, one-year extensions to him once his contract expires. Like, you can stay at Chelsea, and you'll probably play quite a lot, but we're not going to give you a three- or four-year deal. We'll give you one-year extensions. And he probably doesn't want that, because players don't want that. They want security. So maybe he smells blood, or he smells this in the water, and he's like, okay, well, let's start up a story about, uh, you know, transfer, because he's, tw- he's 29, I believe, going on 30. He might even be 30 now. Um, let me just quickly check that for you guys, because um, that, will, that will give us a context of... So, yeah, he's 29. He turns 30 this December. There might be contract talks now. Maybe he feels like he could get a three or four-year deal. <clears throat> now, if he signs a new one now, a three-year extension maybe going to that. Chelsea are probably... They don't want to do that, maybe. Um... Maybe they so maybe they don't want to give him that big extension. So they're like, okay, well, just run it down, mate, till you you'll be thirty one when your contract expires, and we'll give you one year extensions from them. Then that's me speculating, but that would make a lot of sense from from the club's perspective. What has been said? He has a contract with Chelsea until June twenty twenty three. Santos told Radio Bien Bianconera. Obviously, it would be a dream for him, to, dreamed him to return to Italy. Hopefully after winning the World Cup. So, you know, after Italy win the World Cup. If they do, his stock will be high. Chelsea will sell him. And he'll sign a new long-term deal somewhere in Italy where the Italian clubs give long-term contracts to players who are over 30. All true. We know this. Who has Jorginho been linked with? Inter and Roma have been credited with interest in Jorginho in the recent past, but Juventus has been touted as his most likely destination if should he ever leave Chelsea. Of course, the behemoth in Serie A. Santa, Santos has already revealed um, that the Bianconeri made a move for the Italy international when Maurizio Sarri was in charge at the Allianz Stadium. Of course, Maurizio Sarri won the Scudetto there, which, you know, considering uh, they didn't afterwards... Might do a little bit more respect, sorry. The pair previously worked together at Napoli and for one season at Chelsea, but Juve were unable to arrange a reunion. I think Lampard probably didn't want to sell him because he liked Georgie. In the past, when Sarri was the coach, there was a possibility that Jorginho could come to, come to Juventus, said Santos. The Juventus director made an approach. It was a possibility. Um, and of course, Jorginho's stellar year. Last season was arguably Jorginho's best year at Chelsea as he played a key role in their run to the Champions League glory and a top four finish. I mean, it's not arguably. That is the best Jorginho has done. Yes, he won the Europa League with Sarri and finished third, but that's not, you know, Champions League and fourth. That's definitely better. The 28-year-old then built on the platform to win the European Champions uh, Championships, leading to suggestions that he could be a contender for this year's Ballon d'Or. He'll probably be in the uh, shortlist and Messi will probably 
quite rightly win it, I imagine. Santos thinks he deserves to be in the running and said, I think Jorginho has a good chance of winning the Ballon d'Or because we usually think of Lionel Messi or Ronaldo, but nobody has won as much as Jorginho this year. True, Jorginho, of course, won the Champions League and Euros. Generally, that puts you in contention. But I think what uh, Messi did in terms of individual performance, uh, and it is an individual award, uh, in a very poor Barcelona team, I think Messi just has to win it personally. Although I'd love Jorginho to win it because he's a Chelsea player. Um, right, so what do we think? I think this probably is a ploy, an engineering move to try and get him to sign a deal. I think if Chelsea offered a four-year deal on the table now, so it would seem until he's 33... If they banged it on the table and said, sign this, mate, four years, I reckon Jorginho would sign it. I reckon there would be an agent fee. He'd get some money. He'd sign it. Everyone would be happy. I think Chelsea probably would like to run him down and then uh, and then basically... Chelsea might even have an option to trigger a year, which would be perfect for them, and then he'd be 32 when, he fi- when, he, when it finishes. Um, but Chelsea probably want to keep him for his entire contract, which they, you know... Unless he kicks up a fuss, then, you know, he, like Chelsea would fancy to get 50 million for him, even with one year left on this deal, maybe, because he's such a high-profile player. Yes, he'll be 30 or 30, 31 or 30. I think he'll be 30 in that summer. Their Chelsea will fancy their odds. Marina Granov Sky would fancy her odds to negotiate a big fee for Jorginho, considering what he's won and how important he is. Um, so we'll have to see what happens there but um, I think in an ideal world they'd like to keep him uh, run down his deal and then give him one year contracts which probably Jorginho and his agent Santos does not want hence kicking up a storm here they want more security and they know he could get a big contract fresh long term contract elsewhere so that's what I think what do you think of course you need to take into consideration things like we've got Sal Uh, if Sal works out on this loan sign him permanently he's four years younger than Jorginho, for, for three or four years younger than Jorginho. Um, of course, Cover's quite a few years younger. We've got Billy Gilmore. Um, who knows? Declan Rice might come to Chelsea next summer. Chelsea uh, Chelsea might, next summer, Chelsea might be able to sell Jorginho and just replace him with Declan Rice. Now, a lot of people, this, this, is, this causes a divide in the fan base. A lot of people prefer Declan Rice over Jorginho. A lot of people prefer Jorginho over Declan Rice. I uh, understand preferences. I think they're very different as players. Um, personally, I think Jorginho is the best in the world at what he does, which is a very niche, like metronomic role. I think uh, Declan Rice is an amazingly talented up-and-coming CDM who uh, you know can carry the ball forward, who can screen the back four, who can play as centre back. I mean, you would you would never dream of putting Jorginho as a centre back. <laughs> <laughs> for obvious reasons but um you know so and of course Declan Rice is 21 or 22 so I think you can appreciate both uh and maybe he'll come next summer if Jorginho does go what would I like I'd prefer Jorginho to stay I really like him I think he's so good at what he does and I, if Chelsea can have a player that's the best at what he does in his position you don't want to lose that generally what do you think though comment down below i want to hear it um drop a like to show your support on the content of course i'm making a lot at the moment so dropping a like and subscribing and uh, hitting the bell notifications icon all that lovely jazz would be much appreciated so i'll see you very soon enjoy the football see you later